Just 10 cents a day helps fund local programs like Scenic Stops, Northwest Ohio Journal, and BGSU Brain Game. Watch, connect, explore. Barncolt Square started in 2001 when Donna Sue Groves wanted to honor her mother who is a quilter and hang a quilt square up on, one, on their barn in Adams County, Ohio. It basically grew from there. It is now in 46 states and Canada. There is over 6,100 Barncolt Squares around the county that Donna Sue knows about. Adams County was doing it and it was great for tourism, I thought I would get into it. Most still when you say the word, think of a quilt that's fabric and they didn't really understand the barn quilt idea because nobody else had did it here in Hancock County. Quilting is such an old form. A lot of people in this area even quilt and they love having them on their barns. I just think the quilt, quilts are um, an awesome thing to start in this area. Uh, Barb approached me and we were the first ones to have the quilt on our barn and I think it just took off. I started in about two years ago when my husband and I wanted some kind of decoration on our shed. So I did one and it was a lot of fun. I started painting for the Arts Partnership and then I also went on my own and did some painting and we now have over 60 paintings hanging up in Hancock County. Basically the process of starting to design a barn quilt is somebody will give me, they could have got a picture off the internet. I had one lady bring me a pillow that I took a picture of and then from there I draw lines onto the board. You make sure everything is as square as possible. Then once the design's on, you would tape it and then you start with your colors and always start with dark colors. The community has really responded to this really well. My goal when I started is I thought if we could get 20 up, we would be doing really well and I have over 60 now that are up. Again, people did not know what barn quilt squares were, but I think once they started going up on the barns, that's when people kind of said, oh, that's kind of a neat thing, you know, and then they wanted them. After you've, we had some on, there was more and more people interested. We've had people from other counties stop and ask about it. So it's got a lot of aspects. There's the art because it's a, a painting. And the other part is tourism. Now the Hancock County Convention and Visitors Bureau is going to be doing up a flyer with a, a map that people will be able to come to the county and drive around on our back roads and see all the beautiful quilt squares. To, to go on a quilt tour, uh, it's a Sunday afternoon drive. Why, why not take your wife and uh, she'll say, I didn't know you was interested in that. <laughs> right now, um, around the U.S., I believe there is around 140 trails. You can pick up maps pretty much anywhere. Uh, you just have to look. I think Ohio needs something like this. It's just a it's a sprig of color and um, authenticity of what we did 50, 60, 70 years ago. It's awesome. Hopefully we get this first trail up and going and in a few years maybe because more people will have put up barn quilts, we can probably get out a second flyer. So I'm just hoping it to grow and continue to expand and who knows where it'll go from there. <laughs>
Scenic Stops is brought to you by WBGU-TV. Support great local programming by giving now at wbgu.org slash pledge.